In this video we're going to be testing lambda in a Poisson distribution. The first question asks us, cyclists jump the lights on Hackney Road at a rate of 4 cyclists per 10 minutes. The red light sequence is shortened. In a 20 minute period only 3 cyclists jump the red lights. Hackney Council claims that the rate of cyclists jumping red lights has decreased. Test this claim at 1% significance level. So we've been given some information here. We're told that normally cyclists are jumping lights at a rate of 4 cyclists per 10 minutes. But we're also told that after the sequence is shortened, in a 20 minute period, only 3 jump the lights. So we need to use this information and test whether there has been, whether there's enough evidence to say that the rate at which cyclists jump the light has reduced. So we're going to define our random variable. So x is the number of cyclists that jump the lights in a 20 minute period because that's where we've got the evidence from, that's where we've got an observed value, so we're going to be using that. We also need to state the distribution of x. So x has a Poisson distribution and the Poisson distribution is lambda. We've called it lambda because that is what we are testing. So now we need to write our hypotheses of what lambda could be. So the null hypothesis is what normally happens and we're told that what normally happens is the rate is 4 cyclists per 10 minutes. But because we're testing in a 20 minute period, we're going to say that lambda is equal to 8, because we're looking at a 20 minute period. Now the alternative hypothesis is that the rate has decreased. So we're trying to find if lambda is less than 8. And we're testing at 1% significance level, so alpha here is 0.01. We need to state the conditions under which we would reject HO. So we will reject HO if the probability of x less than or equal to our observed value x is less than or equal to the significance level 0.01. And now we need to carry out our test. Well, we can see that only three cyclists jump the, the lights in a 20 minute period, so we need to find the probability of three or less cyclists jumping the lights. And looking that up in the table, it's 0 0.0424, which is quite low, but our significance level is 0 0.01. So the value 0 0.0424 is greater than. 0.01 so we haven't got enough evidence to reject HO so we need to write our conclusion the result is not significant there is insufficient evidence to reject HO the change in the sequence has not affected the rate at which cyclists jump the lights so remember to always include this bit of context relating back to the question. They would normally expect that in an exam type situation. Let's move on to a second type of question. This one we are looking at a lower tail test. So in this one the we were looking at probabilities where we would reject HO if it fell into this region down here in the lower tail. What I want to now look at is a two-tail test. Um, and let's move on to that. So here's a question. A robin finds and eats worms at a rate of three per hour. After a week of acid rain, it is suspected that this may affect the rate at which robins find and eat worms. A robin is observed over three hours and eats 15 worms. Test at 10% significance whether the rate at which the robin feeds has been affected by acid rain. Okay, so we need to identify our problems. So 
the rate at which they normally eat is three per hour and then there's been a change and it's observed over three hours it eats 15 worms and we've got a 10% significance level so we need to define our random variable here the observed value is 15 and that's in a three hour period so we're going to be looking at what lambda will be in a three hour period so we can say that x is the number of worms found and eaten in three hours and we also need to define the distribution of x so x has a Poisson distribution of lambda because lambda is what we are testing and our null hypothesis which is what normally happens is that lambda is equal to 9 in this case because we're looking at a 3 hour period if they have 3 per hour they're going to have 9 in 3 hours and then our alternative hypothesis well we've got to decide what is the sign that we're going to put here well it's not clear which way we need to test it says it may affect the rate at which the robins find and eat worms it may make it they might, might find and eat more or they might find and eat less so this is in fact a two-tailed test so we say it's not equal to nine and our significance level is 0.1 now because it's a two-tailed test we're going to be splitting our significance level so we're going to be looking at any values that fall well 90 percent of the values we will, will lead us to not reject ho but any value that falls into five percent in the upper tail or five percent in the lower tail are going to lead us to reject ho so anything in those two regions there so we need to state when we're going to reject HO. We will reject HO if the probability of X less than or equal to X, that's the lower tail, is less than 0.05. We've had to split our significance le uh, level into two pieces. Or we're going to reject HO if the probability of x greater than or equal to x is less than 0.05. So now we need to carry out our test. Um, we can see that the observed value is 15, which is a lot higher than the mean. So we can tell it's going to be an upper tail test. So we're going to be looking at this statement here and using that. So, we've got to find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 15, because that's much more unlikely than less than or equal to 15. And when we find that, we have to do 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 14, which, if we look up on the tables, is going to be 1 minus 0. 9585 which gives us a value of 0 0.0415 and we can see that 0 0.0415 is less than 0 0.5 so we have a significant result and the acid rain has affected the rate at which the robin feeds. So we need to state that in our conclusion. So in my conclusion I've stated the result is significant. There is sufficient evidence to reject HO. The acid rain has affected the rate at which the robin feeds. So we've been looking at a two-tailed test in this example and that's where you have to split the significance level alpha into two parts, in the lower tail and in the upper tail. In the next video we're going to be looking at finding critical regions 
when we are doing hypothesis testing.